Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again, playing Kerbal Space Program, version 1.6, doesn't really matter. Uh, the main thing is that it's after the version where they allowed you to place Kerbals in the external command seats. So you can see I have Tomfall Kerman here in the front uh, pilot command seat of a pretty large triplane that has no wing surfaces for wings, it's just got I-beams sticking out with three tiers, 24 Kerbals, some... what the... am I missing one? No, I moved those guys in a little bit. Anyway, 24 Kerbals. Um, this would be... so basically you see the idea, you use the Kerbals and deploy their chutes to act as uh, wing surfaces, and you can see I've got some tail fins on the back, like a normal plane. Um, so with 24 Kerbals this would be a pain in the butt to click everyone, deploy the chute. Um, <clears throat> so instead of that I have a uh, KRPC running and when I press 5 you'll see the chutes will all deploy for all the Kerbals. But right now, let's start the engines. You can see I got two Goliath engines. I'll try to fly this thing. Alright, so I deployed that dude. I'm gonna cut his parachute. So like I said, instead of doing this 24 times, let's press 5. There we go. Beautiful. And this should have enough lift to take off if I haven't overloaded it with fuel. It's got like... Uh, 2500 liquid fuel, some in the back, some in the front. I'm gonna pull up. It's working. You can see our lead pilot and our wing Kerbals all rocking it. That's pretty crazy. So it actually worked. And it's sort of maneuverable. Um, I'm going to pop the nav ball back on. Oh, right. I was going to do some stuff to try to make this thing easier to land. Maybe we'll try that next. Um, I cannot pitch down. I think I'm going too fast. And the lift from these wings is pulling me up constantly. There you go. So if I slow down I can actually pitch down. Um, I'm gonna give myself a fair amount of room and then just try to land back on the runway and we'll see if I pitch down. There's our triplane. This is a pretty goofy idea. I think this has been done before but maybe not with quite as many Kerbals. Let me know if you have seen more Kerbals on one plane. Um, the way the deployment script works is by detecting all of the parts on the active vessel and deploying all of the parachutes, so it's like three or four line program. It's pretty simple, saves a ton of time if you're ever building a plane without wings and using the Kerbal chutes. Not mo most people are not doing that. But you know, I'm still playing this game and I'm five years beyond its prime. There we go. This is working great! Look at that! Here we go. What other Kerbals do we have on here? Gyos... Gyosin... Angun... Julzor! Oh my goodness! Julzor... Chadis... Leary... Fobald... Stil Stilgi and Peggy. Ah, oh, Peggy! Alright. As long as Peggy's with us, we're gonna be fine. I'm going to cut a lot of speed to drop down, drop the gear, 
try to get on an approach for landing. I don't think I've been able to land this successfully. Um, let's see what we can do. Oh uh, yeah, if I, if I remember the last time I tried, it gets really bouncy. I don't know if I really care. Alright. There we go. This is good. Brakes are on. Oh my gosh. This is pretty good. Alright, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Whoa! Yes! Cut the throttle. Okay, okay. Alright, come to a stop. Come to a stop. You can do it. The triplane. Dude, that was a nice landing. Alright, who else is on here? I don't know. Nadrin. Nice. And you can see the sweet animation where the chutes just disappear when you stop. But that's it, that's the triplane. Um, the other thing I could do, I guess, is repack the chutes. Um, I haven't thought about that. I don't think I'd ever land and take off again. That would... I'd have to tweak my program again. Anyway, that's my triplane, and I actually landed it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and as always, let me know if you have any ideas or uh, requests for new videos. Thanks, everybody.